Welcome back. Many people were out getting beads on Tuesday for Mardi Gras. Now folks are observing Lent. Joining us this morning, Chef Javier Lopez with Cisco Houston with a few Lent friendly foods. Chef, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. So we are talking some Lent friendly foods that are really easy for folks to put together. So we're gonna start with this fabulous looking dish and uh, it's really simple. This is really simple. All you have to do is get some crab meat, jumble them crab meat, open it up, season it with your favorite vinaigrette, salt and pepper, and put it in a nice looking glass. Mm -hmm. You can go in a, in, a, in a cereal bowl if you like it, but when you start with a good premium ingredient, you will get uh, an excellent result. This is, this is part of it And right I here. love that you chopped up some greens and reds and yellows in there just for color. Just for color and a little texture, and, and, but it's mostly about the seafood. Yeah. Just for a little, a little bright look. A little bright We're and fresh. We're sick of winter, right? That's correct. Okay, so this is gorgeous, Chef. What is this? This looks like a million bucks, yes. correct? But yes. it's really simple to make. All you have to do is get a scallop, slice it any way you want. It doesn't have to be perfect, and arrange it like if you're, you know, you're a surgeon. Mm -hmm. But and then I took some cilantro leaves, mint leaves, some peppers as well, serranos and I drizzle some vinaigrette, your favorite vinaigrette, this is a blood orange and shallot vinaigrette. Wow, Basically, beautiful. that's all it is. It's beautiful. Surprise the family, husbands, <laughs> wives, girlfriends. What about this one? This is a beautiful f fish dish. This is a Texas redfish and heirloom tomato salad. When you're, you're done doing the cold stuff and, mm -hmm. and, and you wanna turn on the grill just a tiny bit, you get a piece of fish, season it, Salt and pepper is the secret, not so secret. Get you some heirloom tomatoes, get you some micro herbs or some herbs, and, and get some shallots, get some English cucumbers, and then just go to town. Basically, that's it. It looks beautiful. It's really simple. How so, simple, just, I mean, and it looks extraordinary. And it's all in the, in the, in the ingredients. You gotta start with a good, fresh ingredient. I love it. If folks want to give you a call and say, hey, can you come show me how to cook something? Can they call you? Is there a website they can check you out at? There's a, uh, we're a bra liner, Cisco Foods. So we don't really have a restaurant, mm -hmm. but we do have resources for yes. our chefs and owners. So they can get a lot of ideas from our from website. Guys. But you can call me anytime. Okay, thank you so much, Chef. You can find all this info and a replay of this segment online at clicktohouston.com. We'll post it under the video tab on our homepage after the show. We'll be right back.